It was recently voted one of the five worst places to live on Earth, Lagos, the commercial capital of Africa's most populous nation, Nigeria. Around 18 million people are crammed into it. It's plagued with immense traffic jams that mean most people have to set off for work at 5 a.m. And you can forget trying to make more than one appointment a day in the city. There are not enough roads or pavements to meet demand, and adequate public transport is a problem. It's a textbook case for UN officials meeting in Brazil to discuss how to deal with the world's urbanization problems. Lucky recently moved to Lagos to try and become a keyboard player. He thinks that despite the problems, it's still the place where dreams can come true. Lagos is, a, is, a, is the art of excellency and maybe anybody that has any product or any idea or talent to showcase, uh, Lagos is the best place. Osho D is the most overcrowded area of Lagos. One of the biggest challenges of living in Lagos is the sheer volume of human and vehicle traffic. It's thought that at least 5 million people pass through this street every single day and hundreds of thousands of vehicles. Local authorities say they're doing their best to tackle urbanization in Lagos by trying to expand the city. It takes time because of funds to transform the slums area of Lagos State into a beautiful city like New York or London. And you make comparisons with New York or London. Is that what you're aspiring to? Do you think that Lagos really has the potential to look like New York? Certainly. To deal with overcrowding in Lagos and a feeling that it was not geographically accessible to all Nigerians, the government declared a new capital, Abuja, in 1976. It's the geographic center of the country. It has a population of about 5 million people and lacks nearly all of Lagos's problems. It's well planned, has good infrastructure, and there's hardly any traffic. Abuja, first and foremost, is the, what you may term a celebration of what Nigeria is all about, because this is the city that is built from scratch. Uh, after independence. But there's an admission that Abuja's creation and design tends to serve Nigeria's wealthy elites. We must integrate both the poor and the rich in Abuja. I don't believe that it is healthy for us to have a section of a country that populates only by, by well-to-do individuals. But what Abuja has done is create a city that no religious or ethnic group can lay claim to while easing Lagos' urbanization problem. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera, Abuja, Nigeria.